Right, tell you there champs and welcome to the show. Yes, the Microsoft Surface laptops are coming out very soon. We're going to talk about all the specs. Are these M1 Mac killers? Let me tell you, it looks amazing the options you have with this. And yes, you should be comparing this to the M1 Max, the MacBook Pro and MacBook Air. You should not be comparing it to the M1 Max and M1 Pro because they're not really Ultrabooks. These Surface laptops are Ultrabooks, okay? And the Surface products, the Surface Pro and the Surface laptop are one of my most recommended laptops, especially when you can get them on a sale. They regularly go on sale for 15, 20% off, so make sure you look out for those sales. And when they're on those sales, it's hard to get a laptop as good as these Surface products, you know, the premium display, the premium build, everything clean windows these are like the macbooks of the windows world along with the xps line and they're just hard to match but we have some leaks and they look legit let's get into it because these really look amazing okay so i'll leave a link in the description to all these web pages the sources i'm getting these from you can go have a look yourself this one's from windows prime here and it looks like a leak spec sheet and it looks legit now first of all when will these come out given that they got a spec sheet out i expect very soon you guys in the northern hemisphere you like going into spring break right i've seen many spring break videos i'm a big fan of it yeah you know what i mean and yeah now nah, i expect these to come out very soon Definitely before back to school. I think that's what they're aiming for. So if we have a look at these specs, a 15 inch and a 13.5 inch, the same as last time. 3x2 displays. It looks like they're the exact same displays, except they're 120 hertz. So these Surface laptops, they have really nice displays. Getting up to 120 hertz now, wolf. That's what I'm talking about. Now, if we have a look at memory, what's interesting here is DDR4. That's very interesting considering we have the 12th generation CPUs and the next Ryzen CPUs as well. So the 6000 series Ryzen CPUs. So why it's DDR4? Maybe a bit of cost saving there. The difference between DDR4 and DDR5, don't worry about it. But now we're talking about CPUs. This is where it gets very interesting. The latest Ryzen CPUs, so we're talking 6000 series, up to 6980U. Now these AMD parts are supposed to be custom for Microsoft. I don't know what's custom about them, but hopefully they have the new graphics, the new Radeon graphics, and that should be a big step up from the last Radeon graphics. We also have Intel 12th generation CPUs, and it's got that killer part there, the i7 1280p now that is a 14 core part okay so this is an ultrabook part too it's actually in between the u and the h part so it is the p variant which means it's 35 watts all its base is 35 watts going to be very interesting comparing both these cpus to the m1 for battery life etc and by the way we're not going to be fooled by you, Apple, because I've always said the Wi-Fi is very slow on the Macs. So I'm actually going to put the Wi-Fi on these laptops down to low powered mode. So we don't get any skullduggery there because I believe Apple used their Wi-Fi in low powered mode, which would save a ton of energy. OK, so I'm going to do that with these products because at low powered mode, these Windows laptops will still probably have faster Wi-Fi than the Mac. Yeah. It's been measured, but that P variant is a 14 core CPU. So it's exactly like the 12900H, except it's 35 watts. So that's going to be very interesting. Now you can get the 1280p on the 13 and the 15 inch, but with the AMD CPUs, you can only get a six core on the 13.5 inch. If you want the eight core, you have to go to the 15 inch. So look, here's the deal. The Intel is going to perform better. It's got the 14 core variant, right? Compared to six cores on the 13.5 inch and compared to eight cores on the 15 inch the 14 core will win obviously we have to wait and test and see but my experience tells me that and now interestingly when it comes to battery life you can see that the ryzen has one and a half sort of two hours battery life better than the intel versions which is very interesting here but these quoted times 21 hours 19 hours 17.5 hours they're all good whichever one you get of course we'll be testing that out so make sure you do subscribe but you have to remember this go have a look at this test gordon ong done from pc world and basically it says the intel they will use more power on battery because they perform better on battery just go check out this sort of article i'll leave a link in the description it has to do with the you know the amd's not cranking up as fast as the intel's on battery they don't like to do that but anyway whichever one you go with it's great battery life we got 58 watt hour battery and it looks like both models have 58 watt hours which is interesting i would have thought the 15 inch would have had more of course intel xe graphics and the latest radeon graphics we'll have to see how they perform but they should be good and thunderbolt 4 usb 4 so even if you do go amd you're gonna get usb 4 which means thunderbolt 4 so wolf 
about friggin' time AMD and about time Microsoft, okay? Always I would go for an Intel because it's got Thunderbolt. Now you get it on both AMD and Intel and for the first time on the Surface laptop, fantastic. So yeah, other things here, Wi-Fi 6, no Wi-Fi 6E, that's a little bit disappointing. And if we have a look at the weights here, the 13.5 inches, 2.8 pounds, which is really good, and 3.4 pounds for the 15 inch, which is wow. That is just so light for a 15 incher. It doesn't say what sort of power supply they're using. I suspect it's gonna be a higher wattage power supply. Um, doesn't really say here. But here's the thing, if these specs are true, these look like amazing laptops. I'm gonna be comparing them to the Mac M1. Stay tuned for that. I'll catch you in the next one. What do you guys think? Tally ho.